feel like I'm in a spa with this music. Everything working, microphone, music, was this music? So, Draclan, oh my gosh, hello. I'm, I missed you, I've missed you. So here's, here's the thing. I don't have that other printer here, but the, um, this is a textured PEI sheet and it is like super duper textured. And it has very good adhesion, but nothing sticks to it. And all I have to do is like, give it a little and it pops right off. And then the little test stuff just scratches right away. Um, um, no, I actually lost my Amazon affiliate. That's my friend Bowie. Look at Bowie. Hi, Bowie. How are you doing, buddy? Um, I don't have an affiliate link. I lost my Amazon affiliate link because I was. they said I was abusing it because I don't know why. I think it's because I was like helping... Um, there was a nonprofit I was helping buy tech and I was using the short links from Amazon and apparently somehow that is a violation. Uh, somehow gets like sending people links to my affiliate page lost everything. I don't know. Anyway, this is a, a um, uh, textured PEI plate. The one I had was from like Comgrow or whatever for my uh, my Ender Comgrow, some name like that. I do always clean these with rubbing alcohol. Also, this is like seventy percent. Ninety would probably be better. cool thing about that um I'm, i am dog sitting beauregard currently he's a good little bear his mom went to thailand and he's very sad about it like i get really beautiful texture from that um it's hard to really show that because i don't have a lot of focus on you're just gonna have to believe me the texture is pretty stunning uh, but it, it, it gives like a toothy texture which i like if you don't want a toothy texture, then I don't know. Sorry. Okay, Bowie is going to help me solve this puzzle. I, I was in Seattle for some days. Now I'm back. I feel like I'm behind on everything as usual. Somehow we're already a month into this year, and I've just... I haven't even started it. Boy, I haven't even started it. I haven't even started this year. Look at this handsome guy. Look at this handsome fellow. Boy, come here. Say hi. Say hi to everybody. Hi, little bear. Boy's unsure about this whole situation. There's a, uh, there's no. Oh, thanks for the sub, Jacqueline. Twenty nine months. I don't deserve this. Wait, I got a shout out to sixteen viewers from Trader Guards four days ago. How did I miss this? I miss these things. So, um. Anyway, the one I linked to you seemed reasonable, but it's not the one I had, but I didn't have an S1. Um, but just like any, here's the one I linked to you. The thing I wasn't clear on is if you needed the magnet or not. Like if you already have a sticky magnet on your printer, um, you may not need this, but also I think it costs less than the one that didn't have the magnet, confusingly. It's so, Gojo, how's it going? So, Oh shoot, I'm on the wrong screen. This thing, this fellow here, comes with the, the adhesive magnet, which I don't think you really need. But you should definitely not be having, usually people have the opposite problem. Like your adhesion seems too good. Where your temperature's crazy, are you just using PLA or do you have some other kind of plastic? Anyway, I, I know I had puzzles that were lined up, that were standing in line, waiting patiently to be done, but I'm skipping it all, because Blobs is the reason I'm streaming, frankly. Blobs is has is, is, is such a trooper in terms of um, nagging me. That's not the right word. Motivating me. Oh my gosh, enjoy Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day, when that was in theaters, when I was a kid, we went and saw it every day because we thought it was funny. I mean, we thought it would be funny to go see it every day. So that is a movie I've, that might be the movie I've seen in theaters more times than any other. 
Oh my gosh, Jates, what's the emergency? Oh no. You know that I stream only to give you the opportunity to tell me about emergencies. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Skoja is st stuck in a time loop. And Jates is watching Mamma Mia. Is that based on ABBA or is that something else? Because I love ABBA. This music is too soothing. Is this a movie based on a stage play that's based on ABBA or something? Jukebox musical romantic comedy. Is that a genre? A jukebox musical? I've never heard that term. So is like, um, uh, you know that one movie? Moulin Rouge? Oh, it is. It's right there. A jukebox musical. I've never heard of this. But I love ABBA. How could it be bad? I mean, this doesn't look good. But it's got Pierce Brosnan in it. Oh, do you think I could get a lower res version of this? It's the feel good cinema event of the summer. Let me see the track list and we'll decide if, if you should like this movie. That is a, a lot of tracks to fit into this movie. Wait, are, is like Pierce Brosnan singing this? I love ABBA. I've, Jates, I've been dancing to ABBA in uh, Just Dance 2024. Has, has a number of ABBA tracks. I've also been dancing to, you didn't approve, I think, when I, the uh, Backstreet Boys song the uh, Backstreet's Back, and then um, uh, Oops, I Did It Again because it wasn't the proper dance. Why is Meryl Streep singing ABBA songs? Here's the thing about ABBA is uh, people think that Dancing Queen Dancing Queen is like not even in the top 10 ABBA songs. It's not that it's a bad song, it's just that they have so many songs that are so good. I think Gimme 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 is, is really up there for me right now. Um, Waterloo is very good but are you telling me this musical doesn't okay I was about to say this doesn't have Take a Chance on Me the best ABBA song Christine Baranski I don't know who that is do, I mean do I know who that is she looks vaguely familiar she was in the birdcage she was in Cruel Intentions. Oh, that's not what I thought Cruel Intentions was. Oh, I'm thinking of Intolerable Cruelty. I mean, it is pretty funny that the sequel to Mamma Mia is called Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. That's, that's pretty good. You knew, yeah, you knew I wouldn't know. Okay, but that is a really good sequel name. Okay, we're gonna try to do this puzzle. I'm, I, this is, I, I don't even know how to respond to this Mamma Mia situation. The main thing I've been waiting to talk to you about, Jates, is the current drama, the unburied drama with Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears right now because of her, what did she do? Did she make a, did she release a biography that made JT look bad? And then he went on stage and says, I apologize to nobody and then sang Crimea River. Okay, awesome, Skojo. Thank you. Have a good night. Enjoy your Groundhog Day. Um, look at all these pentominos. Here, I am uh, kind of intimidated by pentominos, honestly. I don't do a lot of pentomino puzzles because I just, I don't have them memorized. And the reason I don't have them memorized is because I never do them. And I never do them because I don't have them memorized. So it's, it's a vicious cycle. It's not that you're driving anyone away. It's that it's the siren song of Groundhog Day. Who, who could, uh... it's a holiday tradition. 
Did that, is that, did, did that invent the time loop movie? Like, is Groundhog Day? Because it seems like in recent years there was like a time loop movie resurgence. Um, it's kind of like this one. I don't know why, it's just a cool looking space clock or something. It's not very good wallpaper. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what? Wait. Hold on. First of all, there's a sequel to Grease 2. So you're telling me it's not another Grease sequel, it's specifically a sequel to the sequel? Well, second, isn't Maxwell Caulfield like 70 years old now? Wait, okay, what is this thing, what is this called? Wait, Michelle Pfeiffer slams report. She, she, wait, she, okay, she slams the report that she hated Grease too. So I think this is a double negative. It's hard to it's hard to hard to navigate. Okay, wait. So he's Mr. Stewart, which is the reproduction teacher. Is that right? I know you'll be disappointed that I have to ask that. I might like, I was about to say, first I was going to say that it would be cool if Grease 2 had any good songs, which isn't fair. Um, ouch, 35%. It's, but I think I, then I was going to say, I think I like, uh, look, Andrew Garfield loves it. Uh, I think that I like Cool Writer. The film was later adapted into a musical. What? Wait, wasn't it already a musical? A stage musical. Cool Writer. Okay, so you're telling me they made a musical Cool Writer and now there's a sequel to Cool Writer? This is Michael? I don't buy it. This is Stephanie. Okay, a Scottish Stephanie. I could, I could see it. Okay. Well, this is from 2014. I need, okay, we need new Max. Hang on, Mr. Stewart, is he listed here? So these were played by, I don't know who these people are, nor, nor do I care. So, okay, if I said to you that you and I should fly to London to see the premiere for this new Greece, what would you say about that? Wait, there's a reality series? Film adaptations, musicals. I would I would go to London with you to see I don't know how to spell Mr. Stewart. not what I expected. Where is this news? I need a credible source for this. <laughs> Greece 2 40th anniversary was two years ago. How did we how did we not celebrate this? Oh, right. Didn't he marry a woman, like, dramatically older than him? Isn't that a thing that happened? Is your sister a reliable source here? OK, 
Okay, finally embraced it. Wow. Yes, Tabitha. Okay, but where where is the news here? I'm struggling. Let's check his INDB. He still looks incredible. He's on seven episodes of The Bay. Shades, I need information on this. Where is the... Where did she get this news? Is it on TikTok or something? Is it on his... Did he announce it on his Instagram? Okay, wait. Okay, thank you. Oh, so you think it's just another, it's just like the third revival of Cool Rider or something? Sunday, April 14th, coolriderlive.com. Okay, so. So it is Cool Rider, I see. So we're at the we're at the tenth anniversary of Cool Rider. Kitty Claus, Kitty Scott Claus. Um, that's very weird that Maxwell Caulfield's credits for Chicago and Guys and Dolls, but okay. Uh, I I don't know how I feel about Michael and Stephanie having dark hair. I feel like something's lost. Something's lost there. Wait, is there only one performance of this? In April? Wait, is this tr is this just one show? But this is just, it's a concert. At the Palladium on April 14th. Okay, well, this, this, this bears some investigation. We gotta look into this. It's an unofficial, wait, a loving unofficial parody tribute celebration. Back to school, score tonight, cool writer. Who's that guy? Reproduction, duper country, charades. Beautiful song. Prowlin', girl for all seasons. I mean, is that, wait, and it says and more. Isn't this every song? What's, isn't this every song in Greece? In Greece too? I wish it wasn't so soon. Do we need to go to London to see this? Okay, I'm, I will take this seriously. I will take this under serious consideration. Wait, wait, is there a song that's missing here? What's missing? The crowdfunded original studio cast recording? It said Score Tonight, didn't it? Score Tonight's right here, back to school. What is, what's not in this list? Girl for All Seasons, it's right here. Okay, there's Mr. Sandman. There's a song called, wait, Brad? What song is Brad? Okay, sorry, I, 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 I did a bad job. I apologize. Anyway, these are like all the actual Grease 2 songs and then Mr. Sandman, is that like what the, what they're practicing in the in the showers when they get prowled. Okay, we're gonna do this puzzle How, for twenty minutes. Okay, I apologize to Blobs, but I'm not that sorry. 
Mamma Mia. Can Meryl Streep sing? Okay, I have a problem here. And that problem is I just, I don't have the pentamonos memorized. I know that's an embarrassment. So I will keep uh, a handy pentamino reference over on the other screen. It is embarrassing, I should know this. I think about the, um, I didn't even ever actually see it, but the, the, maybe, no, I did see, actually, I did see it. The, um, the, like, Hollywood version of Les Miserables and, um, what's her face saying, uh, I dreamed a dream, Catwoman. And I think her version is great. I don't think she's the best singer, but it's a very impassioned version. I don't think Russell Crowe did especially well in there. I think Hugh Jackman did reasonably well. That was pretty. I liked that pretty well. But her, what is? Why can't I think of her name? Catwoman's name. I dreamed a dream of times gone by. Her name is, uh, you know, Anne Hathaway. Should have Michelle Pfeiffer in it. Okay, we're doing this puzzle. And what do we need to know? We need to know that we need to place eight different pentominoes. No repeats by reflection rotation in the grid such that each is completely enclosed within a box. Each touches its neighbors. Is that possible? How can an eye pentomino? Okay, there's, there's no I pentomino because an I pentomino can't fit in a box. Neither can an L pentomino. Neither can an N pentomino. Okay, I guess that's the point. So there's 12 pentominoes, and we can't have I or L or N or Y. So the remaining pentominoes are the ones we have to use. Um, okay, so... That's great. Um, so that each is completely enclosed within a box. Each touches its neighbors diagonally along a gray line. And each contains digits that sum to 18. What? No pentominoes touch orthogonally. What a crazy rule set. How do you, I feel like I'm gonna do very poorly at this because I do not know the pentominoes. Um, the gray lines links show the sum of the two non-repeating digits each side of the link. So this is a sum and these digits do not repeat. Oh, cool. Oh, I love that, link lines. I don't know that I've encountered that. Okay. The sum of the two digits is fine. So, the, does that mean there's no pentomino in this box because it couldn't touch its neighbors? So we know the eight pentominoes, and they're the pentominoes that do not include I, L, N, or Y. So that's F, P, T, U, V, W, X, and Z. And they're going to be in all these boxes that have link lines. And there's no pentomino in here. And is it true? Let me make sure that I really understand this. So what the column eight? It's part of the pentomino in box three. Touching. Row four. Column nine diagonally. 
which is part of the pentomino block series, and the sum of these two digits is five. Okay, so we. Okay, I'm gonna. I don't know if this is a good idea, but it's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start by marking out the digits within a box that are pentominoes or or part of. Pentomino, like this is an interesting shape already. Because like that could be a U pentomino, maybe. Then it would touch there though, so I don't think it is a U pentomino. Um, okay, so I mean, there's only one more. It, it has to, this has to be a U pentomino. We already have four of the digits. And if we put one here, it means that, so the pentominoes never touch orthogonally, right? No pentominoes touch orthogonally. So this is, so we've already, we've got one already. It's exciting. So that was the most generous place. Okay, so, and we, we have lots of things that we know, perhaps. That was not, yeah, yeah, that's one three. This is one two. This is either, this is four or five to sum with the one two to make six. So this is, this is five six to make 10, but you can't have double five. So this is a six, this is a four. This is a two, this is a one. Um, that's a three, that's a one. So there's no one on this five. So this is a two, three pair. And that's the three and that's the two. Bye, Jates, I'll see you in London. Um, that is one, three. Jates has no tolerance for uh, Sudoku. Okay. That's nonsense. So, that was fun. That means this is a four. These rules are cool. Um, this needs to be on a six. These two just have to sum to six, but I can't have four or two on this side. And six is always comprised, and two digits is always. 4, 2, or 5, 1. So this side is 5, 1. And that means this side is 5, 1. And this is the 5, and that's the 1, and that is the 3. What is the difficulty of this puzzle? Two stars. It seems very smooth so far, suspiciously so. That's a 2. Um, this can never have a 3 on it, so it can never have a 2 on it. So this is a 4, 1. That's the 4, and that's a 1. We've got most of our link lines, unless I'm just totally misunderstanding this, which is extremely possible. Um, there's no pentomino in here because that would be a orthogonal contact. There's no pentomino here, here. Th those could never have pentomino in them. These can never have pentomino in them because it'd be orthogonal contact. Um, these would have orthogonal contact. These would have orthogonal contact. This would have orthogonal contact. This would have orthogonal contact. This would have orthogonal contact. No orthogonal contact here. So that lets us fence things in a bit. I feel like I've missed something. This has to be a W. Right? We can't put anything up here because it would abut against those. We can't put anything here. We already have three. 
So I think this is our W pentomino. So we have the W and we have the U. Um, annoyingly, this could be does see six, four, and one. So it's a lot of digits it could be. I don't know if I care to pencil mark that or not. Hmm. So who is a pentomino that's going to be weird to try to place? Like Z is going to be a little weird. gonna be a little weird. V is gonna be a little weird. Well, this one, um, we know we can't go here because it would touch. We know we can't go here if we could touch. This digit has to connect to the rest of the pentomino, so it has to get out. And so does this one. So that's going to go this way. It can't be here because that would be another W. So this is the V, I think. So we need a P. We need an X. X is definitely not there. X is definitely not there. X is definitely not here, and X is definitely not here. So the only place we can have an X is here, I think. Um, the F, the V, the P, the T. So this could be a T, and this could be a T. These could not, uh, maybe you could have a T, never mind. Um, the F. Hmm. Are there more rules that I missed? We did, we said there's nothing in here. There's no pentominoes in there. Or so we said. That could still be a P, I guess. This couldn't be a P. The thing is, it doesn't. It's just so interesting. Like. Oh, right. We know that. Okay, I forgot. There's the other rule. Um, the pentominoes have to sum to 18. Always. So we have 10, 13, so this is a 5. This is three, uh, seven, eight, nine. That's not a three, that's not a three. Scott, two, three, four, how's it going? I'm just coloring over here. Um, okay, so the thing we're talking about now is that these sum to 18, and I was just looking for very obvious uh, conclusions there. 
I have. Cracking the Cryptic is what lured me in. I watched, I got into Cracking the Cryptic during the pandemic, and then I watched it very regularly for like three years without actually solving any puzzles. And then one day last year, something clicked in me and I started solving. And then the more I started solving, the less I started watching it. Not because I don't like it, but now if I see they're doing a good puzzles. Oh, really? Oh, congratulations. What was it? I haven't watched uh, in, I haven't watched any in the last few weeks, honestly. That's great. Congrats. I'm bad at pentomino puzzles. I have very little experience with them. Um, I would like to get better. So... I was just trying to think about... I don't have a ton of leeway in here, really. There's three, but not four. So you never have nine in here. Pint. Oh, let me see. What is this crazy shape? This is an outrage. I just saw a Reddit link. Is this is this the one? Oh, the primary colors. Congrats on the feature. Okay, I feel like I'm losing the thread a little bit here. Um, so the, what we were just talking about, right? The pentomino is all sum to eighteen, and that is the thing that seems worth worth considering. It feels like we have millions of ones all over the place, right? Oh, okay, well, right. We've said, I said this before, and then we didn't really do it anywhere else. We know this four's got to get out of here, so obviously that is pentomino. This has to get out of here, so obviously that is pentomino. That means this could be, what could this be? This is a T or an F, and maybe it's going to be determined by what goes on over here. This four has to get out. This three has to get out. You know, there's a one up here. Um, the three in here. What is up there? That's just four. That's gonna be pretty low. One, two, three, four, five is 15. So you only have a few degrees of three to freedom, 15, 16, 17, 18, but you still could get away. No, that's not true at all. You can't. You actually only have... No, that's true. You could have one, two, three, four, eight. That is, that is a reasonable thing for a person to have in their lives. Um, Which makes me want to think about fours a little bit. Yeah, there's definitely a four. So the four in here is here. So there's definitely a four in here. You know about the three though? Oh, we just know where the four is, by the way. Um, the three is down here. So there is a three in here and it's not in the center. Oh, thanks. This is a, a streaming service called Pretzel Rocks. It, it is like especially soothing today. I don't know why. Sometimes it is really annoying, but this is like very gentle. To me, uh, the, the all-time greatest puzzle-solving music um, is one of the variations. Uh, I wonder if there's a YouTube. Watch me get in trouble for this. Oh, wow, there's a whole soundtrack of the whole S series. These, the, the, the Picross is all it's so good there's one in particular i really like i can't remember which one it was from. anyway to, in my mind picross music for uh <laughs> I'm, gl I'm glad you're not hungover no friday hangovers Okay, so the three may or may not be in there. We've got all these high digits. There's definitely, nine is definitely out. I don't know if this is the most useful way to think about this, honestly. Um, 
The three may or may not be in there, which is a little less helpful than I was hoping for. So, I just kind of don't know what I want to think about. I mean, th so this could be our T. This could be our T. This could be our T. So T is not helping us at this moment. This is clearly a T or an F, right? That is, that is for sure. So this is T or F. P could be here or here. Like the, the interplay between these sort of feels like what is gonna disambiguate here, but I'm not, I'm not actually fully convinced of that. So what is it going to be? Is it going to be sums? Well, okay. We already have um, five, six, seven. So these two digits have to sum to 11. So we need two digits that sum to 11, um, which could be eight, three. Or five, six, are those the only options we have for getting to 11? It's not nine, two, could be eight, three. It's not seven, four, could be five, six to hit our 11 in that box. It's not five, six, right? Five's up here. Sorry, let me do that one more time. It is not nine two, because the two is already spoken for. It feels like it could be eight three. It's definitely not seven four because the four is spoken for, and it's not five six because the five's up here. So okay, this is just eight three. And that is the eight, and that is the three. So hopefully this sums to a number that is good. Oh, that is also known as eighteen. Um, that rules the eight out of here, so that places the eight up here. So that seems nice. So this is um, five, six, seven, nine. And there's no sixes up here, and there's no fives here or sevens here. Six, nine pair, so there's no nine up here. Nine is down here. So this, I guess, is a four, nine pair. And that leaves this as a six, eight pair, but we know the order. Um, okay. Boy, how you doing, buddy? Boy's being very good. It's a good person. It's a very good person. Um, okay, well, I feel like I sh if I like was better at just spotting what Pentominos do in the world. I feel like I would have a better understanding of this. I just, I don't speak Pentomino. The two, the one is over there. Hmm. Okay, so we need an F Pentomino, which feels like it could be here, as long as reflection's okay, which presumably it is. But this could also be an F pentomino, and this could be an F pentomino. So that's just this is this is not one. We have lots of places for an F. I, L, and N are not in this puzzle. P pentomino has a few spots. T pentomino has a few stop spots, and then Z is the only other thing we have to place. Hmm. We just have to be cautious. Okay, one of these is for sure. So we could never do something that needed both of these. So for example, we could never do the P like this and a T there because it'd be a thorg orthogonally connected. Um, so it doesn't feel quite, quite good enough though. We only have five in there. Four in there. If this was the four, 
this would be a five. Good grief, leave me alone. Oh my gosh. Um, this was a four, this would be a five. I kind of want to just try to pencil mark these. It'll be annoying, but just go through the options. Um, this is not a one, so this is not an eight. This is not a four, so this is not a five. This is not a six, so this is not a three. This is not a two, so this is not a seven. Um, so that was not terrifically amazing. But that's okay. Um, feels like well this will never be this will never be pentomino because it could never reach here because that would be it would take six just to get there so this is definitely never pentomino could be Pentomino if this is a Z. This one just has lots of options. So this is the place where it feels like there's the most pressure, because we know this is either an F or a T, for sure. This is either F or T. Um, if this was a Z, that would be fine. We could just never do something that took both of those, but we could still get a P in there, so it just doesn't feel... That's not a good Pentomino. Intuition. Could this ever be? I don't think this can ever be Pentomino because if it were, um, we couldn't go here. I mean, this can only have two more. And so if, if to get down to here, it'd have to do that and it'd be a V. So I don't think that's ever Pentomino. But it's still good could be P, or it could be T. Is there just some Sudoku to do? Yes, I did do something bad. Um, sevens, we know nothing. Is fine, so there's no reason. Sure. So, this has to be part of a pentomino, right? Because if it wasn't, how would we, how would we connect over to here? That would be the only way, and that is six digits. So this, this has to be pentomino. So this is either a T or an F or a Z. It's not a P. That could be Pentomino. This has to be Pentomino because it's just we need five and we just, we can't grow without taking this to be either a P or a T. This could be any of those. 
This isn't super helpful. I guess it's like kind of keeping the the nine in check, but I feel like I've missed something. I know we have relatively low digits. Well, we have to take this digit because we can't have a U pentomino, and even if we could, that would box this in in a way that's not acceptable. So we definitely have to take this. I'm sure there's easier ways to see this positive there. So this could be Z, it could be P, F, It's definitely not a P like that. So I think we're saying, I think we're saying this, I think what we're saying, I think what we're saying is that this is never pentomino. Because it would either have to connect here and then we'd have a U pentomino, which we already have a U pentomino, or it would have to connect here, which would fence this in because we'd end up with orthogonal orthogonal connection there. So I don't think that can ever be pentomino. This still doesn't have to. Is are all diagonal connections shown? Am I missing something extremely obvious? Like are all that would be silly if I just missed that. Like, is there a, a gray line everywhere there's a diagonal connection? Which means that I should have seen a very long time ago that this couldn't be. So that means this can't be pentomino. Gosh, I should have seen that a long time ago. Because if it were, we'd have a diagonal connection. Because I think every one of our diagonal connections, so all gray lines, each touches its neighbor, so we can't do this. So this probably should have seen that a very long time ago. This can only be an eight if this is one, two, three, four. This, I mean. Okay, well that gave us our T. So this is not a T, so this is a P. And that means we have we have a Z to place and we have an F to place. So one of these is an F and one of these is a Z for our final two runs. That is an eight, this is a one, then that would have to be a one. Can we figure this out? So this is either, this is never a T. So this is not pentomino. This is either a Z or an F. So it would never have this, this, because this would make it a P and we already have a P. It's hard to put eights in these, but not impossible. Oh, awesome. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. I have an infinite backlog, but I'm always glad to take a look at new puzzles. Thank you. 
Okay, I feel like I was going so smoothly and I lost the thread a little bit because I'm, I'm I'm sort of undecided on what's important right now. Is it important to think about 18s or is there some other way to determine this? This either goes like this or like this. This either goes like this or like this. So I guess I'm saying this is always in. So, well, okay. One of these is nine. So one of these is nine. I don't know if that's that important, but there you go. There you go. Fours. This is either a Z or it's an F. Either seems legal because this wouldn't be diagonally touching anything to go there. So I don't think it is a violation of international law. Boy, what do you think? I'm going to get my co-solver to look at this. obvious he's got to think about it a little bit which is fair hi buddy hi little man hi little man okay so what are we gonna do the thing we're gonna do i guess it's 18 so i don't really know what to think about a little hard to know. I mean, if you don't have a one. Oh. If you don't have a one, your min sum is 20. Is that true? Two plus three. One, two, three, four, five. You have these five digits. That's 10. That's 20. So there's, okay. One is always, that should have been very obvious. One is always in the, inside the pentomino, which we know here. So one is taken care of. Maybe we really only learned about this one because of that. That's okay. Um, so you always have to have a one. That's a requirement. If you don't have a two, you're doing 15, 13, 19. So you always have, you do, all, two also has to be in there. Is that right? Because otherwise it would be um, 15 minus two is 13 plus six is 19. So you also have to have two, eight, 13, 19. Yeah, so two is also always in the, the body. This has to be, one and two have to be in here somewhere. Three, though, is optional. But kind of only just optional, because that that is three, that's nine, and that's nine, and that would be 18. So if the six is available, you can avoid the three. Gosh, we didn't really learn anything new from that. I, I'm probably missing just super silly obvious Sudoku. Where is the one in here? It's got some options. Three just may or may not be. Maybe I need to be thinking about higher digits. Like it is difficult to have an eight inside here.
I don't know. <laughs> okay, we just need to do a little Sudoku audit. One in this land. It's not there, and it's not there, and it's not there. So one is the bottom of the barrel. Oops. Oh, I keep doing that. Two has some possibilities, unfortunately. Some possibilities. in this little nook. Hmm. Oh, this is a bummer. I feel like things are going so smoothly and I'm just missing something extraordinarily obvious. a little restricted upstairs, but not that restricted. Is there any, is there some reason we know this? Is there some reason we know about? I don't think we do. I think we're going to know this kind of just based on um, the sum. people is nine. It'd be sort of helpful to know about nines. The nine is up here, 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 and there. Nine just has lots of options in this box. Well, it doesn't actually. Well, it's not as restricted as I would like it to be. Nine's relatively low here. But it's not fully, fully low. Oh, good grief. But we said twos always have to be in here, right? If we don't have two, the minimum sum is 19. Because it would be... 15, 13, 19, and two can only go there. So that's the two. And then, why do I miss these very obvious things? That's disappointing. Sorry, blobs. Um, that puts the two here, which gives us the seven to make the nine. That's not the two, oops. So th that two is there. We get the five and the seven here, which is nice. Um, so we have all of our sums now. Now we have 10 here. So we need three digits to sum to eight that uh, so we have right we have seven plus three is ten we have to make 18 these three digits have to sum to eight we already know it's one plus two so the other is five so this is one two five that's not a one or a five so that is the two there's no two here so we get a one five pair the nine is up there four is here so that's the nine so this is a three six pair. Do you know the order? No, that's not a three six pair at all. It's a different pair that is an eight six pair, um, which we don't know the order of. This is three something. No, it's not, it's a three. I'm bad at Sudoku. It was five seven. Um, which is kind of interesting because that pulls this, that pulls five and seven out of the running for being in here. Did I ever, like, accidentally remove my coloring here? I must have. Okay. So, that's exciting. That puts the four down here. Um... I don't know about the 
That's six, seven, or eight. That's high-ish. That's a one, five pair. So this is not one. So this is the one. So this is the three. If I'm trusting pencil marks. Um, which would force that to be the two. So this is six, seven, eight, nine. That's not seven or eight. That's not seven. Six, seven, eight, nine quadruple. Which I don't know what it does other than put the five over here. Here. I'm just going to put a five in here, but not there. This is also from six, seven, eight, nine, but it's not an eight. You're one and you're two. Okie dokie. Um, definitely lost the thread a little bit somewhere along the way. This is really cool. The, 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 one of the things I like about it is that the interplay of these rules seem very separate at first. Like you, you're able to think of them very separately in the beginning, but as the puzzle progresses, they put more pressure on each other. Like this thing I should have seen a long time ago, but um, they interact in interesting ways. And I think the sum is just gonna untangle this uh, F versus Z debacle. That's my assumption, anyway. Um, a nine is apparently up here, so it's not here. So that's six or seven. What else do we know? We have the five, seven. Those mean seven's up here. We have the we have one, two, and four. We need three digits to sum to eleven. Sorry, two digits to sum to eleven, right? Because we have seven. So we need two digits to sum to eleven. Which are not four seven. Right, so somewhere in here is one, two, four that's gonna sum to seven. That's for sure. So we already have seven in here. So we have to sum to 11 and it's not nine, two, because it's just because the two is already there. Um, it is not, um, it could be three, eight. It can't be seven, four because the four is already there and it's not five, six because the five is there. So it is one, three, eight. And we know where the eight goes. And that means this is a nine, six pair. And we know the order of that. That is not a nine. Um, okay. Well, surely that has taught us important knowledge. So that is gonna stick with three over here and give us a seven, nine pair here. These nines everywhere really cramping my style. My style, deeply cramped. Um, we have a total of six here, so we need two digits that are going to sum to 12. If we did have the five, we would have the seven, but that seems okay. Oh. That seems like a reasonable thing to happen in the world. Three is down here somewhere. Nine is up here, and nine is down here. Okay, nine is up here for sure. And in this box, nine is never gonna be inside the fellow. So nine has to be down here. It's not down here. Oops. So whichever one of these is the nine is gonna determine the shape of our box. Um, but more interestingly, that means nine is here, 
So that's a seven, and that's a nine, and that's the five, and that's the seven. So one of you people is certainly a seven. Five, seven there would make some sense. Well, in fact, it is five. We know that because the five's not down there. It's not there. So that is five. And the only thing we can do here then is we have 10, 11. So that's a seven. And we end up with eight and six again. And that's the six and that's the eight. That's not a seven. We got hundreds of digits over here. So this is three, seven, nine. And this can't be three or nine, so that is the seven. We have three nine pair, so that's a six. This leaves us with some other digit. Well, it's an eight, which makes sense because it's going to go down here and include the three, and it, it's eight goes with one, two, three, four. So that's a six. That's a nine. That's an eight. A seven. That's the six. That's the nine. That's the six. That's the eight. That seems to push the seven up yonder. So, I mean, we know this is going to have the three in it, but I don't know that I immediately see how that's going to work out. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, this is an eight and a five. And that's the five and that's the eight. So this could only be eight if this is one, two, three, four. So this would be a three, four pair and that would be the eight and that would be an F. Or it's gotta be one, two, well, that would be the five. We need two digits here that sums to 10. So what do we actually have here? We have three, four, six. Oh, that just is the six. So this can't be the eight, because eight can only go with one, two, three, four. So this is the Z pentomino, I think. And so this is the F pentomino, I think. So that's the three, the nine, the four, the nine, the four. The three, one. I'm just in some. Oh, thanks for the follow, Scott. I missed that you followed. Appreciate that. It's this soothing saw music, this puzzle spa that I'm in. Okay. I. Blobs, that was great. That was so interesting. I love these. These sum lines, like these links are so cool. I'm embarrassed that I missed this for so long, like the negative constraint. I guess it wasn't super explicit. You know, it didn't have like all diagonal lines are given. You know, it is. It says it literally right there. The thing that I just said it didn't have, it says all possible links are shown. So um, I just missed I just missed that. I don't even remember reading that out loud. Maybe I did. Um, so that slowed me down, which was silly. Um, but the links were very cool. It was very fun to just go through and do those. I liked the touchy constraint, like where we, we had to be cautious about like the possibility of things touching. I liked the sort of, um, not, I don't even know that I really needed to do it, but I liked it and it helped me think through things, the sort of like determining things that were uncontaminable. So, so I really liked it. Thank you for sharing that. I think I'm only going to do one puzzle today because it's getting a little late. So I'm really going to try to pick up to him a little more. I just, I'm so behind on everything all the time. How does it happen? Um, we need row one. I started playing Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, and it has this, this fake Pokemon game in it. I just can't stop playing. This difficulty, I'm going to say it was average, and I'm going to say it was a very nice.
normally irrationally intimidated by pentomino puzzles. That's a strange alliteration here. Um, but I really enjoyed this one. Now I'm nervous that I misspelled something because Windows is a monster and doesn't spell check, does it? Like, you could just have nonsense in here. Oh, it does. Okay. Or is it Chrome that's doing that? I didn't think Windows had an uh, OS level spell check. So maybe it's Chrome that's doing that. Or maybe they added it in Windows 11. Who knows? I'm normally irrationally intimidated by pentomino puzzles, but I really enjoyed this one. Submit. When was this from? It's so fresh. It's just days old. What's going on with Blums? What's in the what's in the hopper here? See, I'm too caught up. I need more yin yang sightline puzzles is the is the issue. I gotta do these galaxy puzzles at some point as well. Speaking of puzzles I find intimidating, but beautiful. The galaxy puzzles always end up looking so lovely. Okay, um, I'm going to call it today. I will try to stream again this weekend, and then I'll try to have a more sane schedule next weekend. I just I had travel last week into this week, and I'm behind on every single thing. I'm trying to figure out... This is, this is a side, side story. I just need to figure out a good... Um, I need to figure out... like a good in embedded graphics library, like for Raspberry Pi. And I've gone down the path of using a, uh, using Raylib. Scott, thanks so much. We appreciate you coming by. Um, of using Raylib for, Raylib Raspberry Pi for performing. Right now it's either gonna be Raylib or it's gonna be that I'm gonna boot X11 just into like Chrome as the window manager. I want to know. I want to know the FPS here. What can I expect? Probably not very good. Like the other thing is, is maybe this is just a bad idea. That that's a thing I'm a little concerned with. Like maybe this is just not a good idea. Um, which feels Better FPS for full screen effects for native Pi. FPS on lights. Hmm. So curious. I, I guess just got to start doing benchmarks, but it's so it's tedious. It's a tedious thing. Um, are these frame rates over here? What do these numbers mean? I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't need to do anything too heavy. I just would really prefer, I think, 2,000 bunnies. It's a lot of bunnies. 4,000 bunnies, 4,000 bunnies. Mr. Desktop Kit. Hmm. I don't know the difference between KMS and DRM. Skybox fails in all these. I think that's I think that example is just broken. Is this on a Pi 4? Is that what this was? Anyway, so I don't know. I gotta I gotta this is always a thing I run into. Uh, I think I would like to use DJ 
JS, I just feel more confident in it. I feel like I could do more interesting things. It means booting into Chrome. I don't know. I'm very torn. 3JS is probably the way to go, just because I know it works well. Um, okay, this is all a totally, totally irrelevant. But Blobs cares, right? Because it's an embedded system. And Blobs loves embedded systems. And we're going to go see Greece, and it's going to be amazing. Okay, anyway. Um, oh, he's really covered out. Okay, sorry, just in a little Bowie moment. Um, he's very tired. He's experiencing puppy depression because his mom went to Thailand. It's really sad. Hi there. Go for Okay, I'm leaving for real. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I will see you next time. Thanks to Jade and Draklin and Scott and Skojo and everybody else who stopped by. Okay, I'm leaving. Bye.